Please welcome New York One's Pat Kiernan. <laughs> well, I, I, I love it. I, I need a band of New York One. <laughs> thank you all. Thank you very much. Welcome to Brooklyn tonight, Pat. Good to be here. Thanks for having me, Marty and Kat. And, and I have to tell you, I, I can't think of anything that's been this exciting for me since I, I, I got to, to sit there on audition for Regis Philbin's job. <laughs> well, listen, I'm no Kelly Ripper. Believe me, but I appreciate the compliment. <laughs> Michael Strahan's got nothing on you, baby. <laughs> Listen, everybody who watches New York One and people who don't even watch New York One all know you from in the papers. We look to you to hear what is going on. Who do you look to? Who do I? Who do I uh, well, I, I just look what they've done in the papers, and, and that's, that's my whole gig. That's it? Yeah. <laughs> wow, you really demystified it there. Well, anybody could do it. <laughs> No, we, we, you know, we have our own team of reporters, but the newspapers are they're, they're like a critical part of the, of the morning. It's the most popular part of the morning show. It's, it's what everybody tunes in for. I have my newspaper here, and I figured, what better way is there to, to, to use it tonight than to take a look back at some of, uh, let's call them Marty's greatest hits. Let's. Some, some moments from the New York dailies over the, the years. So can, can, I, can I go into my... Oh, yes. All right, Mar <laughs> Marty, seed control of your show for a moment. <laughs> Let's go, uh, let's go way back to start. 2002, our first headline, September 29th, the New York Times profile, Marty, Marty, Marty. It chronicles your egg cream extravaganza and, and compares your spirit to that of Mayor Fiorella LaGuardia. Mm -hmm. okay. nice. nice start, right? Nice, yes. Uh, January 8th, 2008, the Daily News, headline, Marty wants to be like Mike. Wife says Borough Prez is sounding as though he'll mount mayor bid. Here's one, January 13th of this year, New York Times story. Nice Sunday profile of you and Jamie and, and your son, Beep. Uh, a photo of you and Jamie walking through Prospect Park. Yes, a very nice story and photo of me and Jamie. So far, I can't complain. Really fair and balanced reporting. You, you, wait, wait a minute. <laughs> December 17th, 2009, Daily News. Headline, Marty is finally buying in. It's about you purchasing your home in Windsor Terrace. Uh-oh, I spoke too soon. Yeah. Here we go. This is where it starts getting ugly. So the very <laughs> next day in the Daily News, December 18th, 2009, the headline, Home Suit Home, Slip Fall Case Help Marty Buy New Digs. Yeah. Here comes the gotcha. <laughs> Deeper in that very same newspaper, uh, we find Marty as the recipient of the Daily News Knucklehead Award. <laughs> I think I'm the proud recipient of at least three of those. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's, let's go back to December 10th, 2007. New York Post. Who can forget the headline, Brooklyn's Clown Prince? Not nice. That's the Gen post. January 10th, 2010. Again, the New York Post. Polls Sins of the Flash. Oh, hey, Pat, how many more of these are there? <laughs> I'm, I'm just the messenger. <laughs> let, let, let me do a couple more. Uh, January 16, 2002. You're, you're barely three weeks into your first term. The post covers uh, with Brooklyn Beep dumps pick of old white man George. <laughs> this, is all, this is all about the efforts to, uh, to diversify some of the portraits <laughs> hanging in Borough Hall. Uh, th th here, here's one. Uh, July 26, 2011, front page of the Post. Uh, I, I don't know, can I read this with a sufficient Brooklyn accent? You're getting there. Foist, foist lady. You got it. Actually, I have to tell you, Pat, this is one story we liked. Doesn't Jamie look beautiful in that shot? <laughs> <laughs> Great photo of her. And, and uh, here, here we go. Last one, I promise. Same issue. Marty trips up over his first lady. And there's, there's a chart here comparing Jamie to first lady Michelle Obama. Wow. Now, we like that story, too. <laughs> what a compliment to compare Jamie to Michelle Obama. Now, enough, enough. I know you're a busy man, and we'll let you go. But believe me, Pat, there were many more good, bad, and ugly headlines over the years that we could have shared. So, ladies and gentlemen, escorted by New York One's own Brooklyn reporter extraordinaire, Janine Ramirez. Janine, <laughs> and Pat Fiernan. <laughs>
Goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you. Marty, thank you for having me. So kind.